Hello? Sam? You home? I think we're in the right place. Hello? Oh, hey, Men's Health. Are you here to see my gym and fridge? Come on in. So where are we? Welcome to my Airstream, which is a 65 land yacht refurbished. Um, so I, when I'm in town, I spend most of my time here. You know how this goes. What's in your fridge? I've got uh, lots of greens. My go-tos are broccoli, spinach, mushrooms. I love a good mushroom. It's also good to throw in a smoothie with almond milk or some coconut milk. For, for breakfast, I'm usually a, I'm a big egg guy. I jump into some wild-caught salmon or, when available, some, uh, some bison. And it'll do up a little bit. I don't have a lot of carbs in my diet, but I will throw in some sprouted grain Ezekiel bread. That's a lot of good stuff. What would we never see in your fridge? You're never gonna see in my fridge uh, processed foods. No sodas for sure. I haven't had one of those in probably over 20 years. Wow, that's a long time. How has your diet changed over the years? Over the years, my diet has changed a lot. Because I was in the stunt world, my size would have to fluctuate. So in the Marvel world, uh, doubling superheroes had to put on a lot of size. And then other times, I went for six years, I was a vegetarian. And then now, I'm, it's more about balance. What do you eat when you're on set? If I'm facing a particularly demanding day, I like to start with uh, a nice multivitamin with my meal to supplement the whole foods that I'm eating during the day. Another very important part of a busy work day is hydration. And I like to document the amount of water that I'm drinking throughout the day. I think I'm on track for this thing, sure. Gets a lot of funny looks, but it keeps me hydrated. Speaking of drinks, what's your coffee situation? I don't drink coffee. I'm a tea guy if I need a little caffeine. Oh, that's cool. A hot Earl Grey tea in the morning with some steamed almond milk and a little honey. Do you have any comfort foods? Dark chocolate. Gotta love a good dark chocolate. All right, it's about that time. Start my day with a good workout. It's important to clean up after yourself. Let's go do this. Welcome to my gym. Uh, normally, I, I like to train outdoors. Fresh air, sunshine's good for you, and I like to go through kind of a circuit. Where I'll start with the heavy bag, and I then I'll your work. Your cell phone's ringing. Who's calling? Excuse me. Oh, did you drop something? Oh, I get it. So oh, you can stop now. Sorry for for being kind of uh, rude, but one of the workouts that I like to do set a timer on my phone for every 30 minutes. And then no matter what I'm doing, do the chosen exercise for the day. And that's how throughout a day on set, I'll try to stay fit. How often do you work out? I try to work out five, six times a week, but I'll try to work out anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on what I'm trying to achieve. And you can get more out of 20 minutes than two hours sometimes if you have the right mindset. How's your exercise routine changed over time? Over time, uh, my routine has had to adjust based on the film that I'm doing. I try to maintain uh, a foundation of martial arts, and I think it's just good for your state of mind to be able to let out a little pent up energy sometimes. <laughs> it's a really good stress reliever. What's the most difficult movie you've trained for? Uh, the most difficult film that I've had to train for was probably Extraction. I had to be in top shape because I was following the actors and stunt performers around all over set all day. And I was not gonna be the one that ran out of breath and had to redo the take. What about the Avengers? For the Avengers movies, you had to stay functionally strong, but you also had to look like the actor. So there were a lot of aesthetic workouts that we would do. So you're getting a bicep curl and a lunge. So you can work multiple muscles with the same exercise. Why multitask? Because time is our greatest asset. Speaking of which, how long have I been doing this? I haven't been counting. Can I stop now? Yeah, you can stop. I don't want you to get hurt. Speaking of which, what's been your craziest injury? The craziest injury I have sustained in my stunt career? Probably too many concussions, actually, on the Captain America Civil War. Came uh, over a balcony, fell eight feet down to a, an awning, fell from the awning to a, a truck, from the truck to the ground. 
hit my head, kind of on each one, had a concussion, had to go to the hospital. You don't want to get too many of those. What's your favorite and least favorite exercise? The pull-up, my favorite exercise. Least favorite exercise is the burpee. It's just, it's a burpee. Who, li who likes burpees? I love burpees. That's all I do. But I'd love to know your weekly routine. A week of training for me, usually I alternate between upper body, lower body, and cardio. A push, pull one day, and then start the cycle again. You think exercise helps with your creative process? I think creatively, exercise frees the mind, so to speak, for all of the creativity and inspiration to find its way in and then come out in, in that creative expression. All right, time for rapid fire questions. Workout time, 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? 7 a.m. Squat or deadlift? Squat. Favorite song on your workout playlist? Anything by Led Zeppelin. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Kettlebells. Cardio? or weights? Weights. Big legs or big arms? Big overall body. You got it. can't skip leg day. You gotta do it all. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to watch Extraction 2. Comes out on Netflix June 16th. I gotta run up the hill, get my cardio in. Catch you next time. <laughs>